hi friends now in this video we're going to understand some uh, auditing tools from the microsoft excel application those are show formulas trace precedence dependence remove and evaluate formulas and formula text and also the the showing arrows and formulas as well so here we just see that i already calculated this total is based on just press f2 to show the formula actually the dependence so press f2 here the uh, d4 that means quantity into e4 that means rate so here the result is at 455 and here these four the result of 455 is depended on the quantity and rate correct sir we'll just see the next uh, tax percentage so e equals to the total uh, tax percentage into total tax percentage into and here 10 percentage and you do not use this formula like this because here i'm using the formula in g four i'm using the formula in g4 the data is collected from f4 and c15 once again i repeat i'm using the formula in g4 the data is collected from f4 and c15 and press enter now this time the result is perfect just simply select the cell and press f2 this f4 is f4 means 455 into c15 means 10 percentage is correct yes but whenever you just simply drag down to plus one cell if you once drag down the formula to plus one cell even the cell inputs also will be moved to plus one cell here it is collecting 1850 correct but here it is going to it was forwarded from c15 to c16 there is nothing in c15 it means there is a change in total but there is no change the address the percentage is still available in the initial cell so if there is no if you don't want to add plus one cell for a string then simply when you are using the formula just simply enter e equals to 455 into 455 into here i'm using simple 455 because in the in the plus one cell i would like to get the data from plus one but but the formula but no not the formula but the percentage is available in a single cell so if you want to get a, a standard input if the address is c15 very simple enter if the address is c15 dollar c dollar 15 that means we are going to take the input of the c15 from a single standard string then press enter yes 455 into 10 percentage that means 45 and again if you once drag down this time see here here we have taken the input from f4 here when you goes to g5 automatically the input has been changed to f5 here we have taken from f4 here automatically system changed to f5 but still in this cell we have taken the data from c15 and here also the system is continuing collecting the data from same c15 here because we have used a dollar dollar is indicate to collect a data from a single string for a range that's it so simply is drag down yes and this time here this total is depended on quantity and rate and this tax rate this tax calculation is depended on total and percentage and here again grand total equals to the total total plus tax equals to grand total and then simply use this right so now we'll just work out on the auditing tools first i would like to show the formulas it's so very simple just go to the formula tab and there you can click on show formulas so wherever you have used the formulas in the sheet system is going to display the total system is going to display the total formulas that has been used so here to calculate the total we have used d4 into e4 and to calculate the tax we have used f4 and c15 again to use the uh, to do the calculation we have done we have taken f that means total plus tax that equals to grand total simply just click on 
close so this is how we can show the formulas and also we just do one thing and that is the trace precedence so here i am selecting the cell address of 455 i am selecting the cell address of 455 these 455 the precedence how the which values has been used to calculate this 455 very simple simply click on trace precedence it means the 13 and 35 13 and 35 is used to calculate 45 that's it and I have a doubt that and I have a doubt that there is a there is a value uh, there is a value which is 14 I would like to get that in which cell this value is used again simply click on trace dependence so here this is a cell that are used again I, I, I'm for better understanding I'm going to show one more and just simply click on remove remove arrows right and here this 10 percentage is used here this 10 percentage is used in all the calculation of tax right so simply select the cell and click on trace dependence it means yes this 10 percentage calculation has been taken to all the cells is it clear remove once again I repeat this grand total is depended on total tax and tax percentage correct so simply select the cell click on trace precedence so 45 and 44 455 and 45 is used in uh, 500 calculation and to calculate this tax we have taken the data of 455 and 10 simply uh, uh, remove and this 10 percentage is has been depend uh, this 10 percentage value as used in the re list of tax percentage again remove arrows next we'll be looking that uh, evaluate formula before that we'll just see that how to convert a formula into text very simple here there is a, a formula that has been used so simply use equals to equals to formula text equals to formula text and simply select the cell and click on ok so this is a the equals to formula text open bracket select the cell address and close bracket so this is used to convert to display not convert to display a formula so here it is going to display here we here it is going to display the value and if you would like to see a formula in a different string then simply use the formula called as equal to formula text open bracket select the cell address and close bracket and simply can use the drag down yes and here we just come up with to uh, evaluate a formula here you can see that actually i have written some value here here i have written actually uh, equals to 2000 into 10 plus 35 minus 250 by 10 and here it is going to display a direct value is at 20,010 rupees but actually i would like to get a knowledge about that how actually the calculation was done right uh, so here if you like to add this simply select the cell address and go to formula tab in the formula tab in the formula auditing tool there is an option called as uh, evaluate formula simply select this evaluate formula and here it is going to see that so first it is calculating the first step of the calculation is that 2000 into 10 2000 into 10 so simply click on evaluate so first it calculated 2000 into 10 and the result of 2000 uh, 2000 into 10 that is 20,000 and after that it has done the second step of the uh, calculation is that 20,000 plus 35 and now it is up 20,035 20, 000 and, 20 uh, and after that it is not calculating the uh, 20,034 minus 250 it is calculating uh, 250 by 10 as per the uh, calculation so here uh, 250 by 10 the 250 by 10 is at 25 250 by 10 is at 25 and now it is finally calculating uh, 20,035 minus 25 20,035 minus 25 that means 20,010 so this is how it works thank you